This is the Space Grant Beacon. So here in the yellow uh, at the bottom is the battery pack. We have the rotating test stand. And then going up the mast in that metallic box is a little radio. In the black box is a little Arduino. And at the top is a Yagi antenna, which is actually sending out the beacon vectors. And right now it's going pretty fast, actually faster than probably it'll end up spinning at the dunes, but about one revolution per uh, second or thereabouts. That's uh, actively transmitting in here, and it's a really noisy environment, but this is kind of cool. As we go in here to my office, I'll show you actually what the beacon receiver is seeing and doing. So here's the beacon receiver module. Uh, we have the beacon radio right here. Uh, so that's actually receiving the signal that we're getting from the spinning beacon out in the, in the main room. Here's an Arduino. And then here's a little breakout board that we have some of the components that you'll see in the how to build manual. The most important component that you can see here is actually our blinking light. This is our indicator light showing that we're getting uh, active and new and updating signals uh, every rotation or really close to that. Um, it changes from a signal high or status high to a status low when it gets an updated beacon that it can rely upon. You can see every once in a while it does not get a, an update and that's actually a good thing. What it's doing for us is actually determining if there's a good uh, received beacon. If you see over here on my computer, I'm trying to brain into focus here, uh, every once in a while you see a whole string of, of 200s for instance. Um, 200s means that it's an inaccurate vector and that vector cannot be relied upon. Uh, in other words, there's too many multipath or whatnot. As you can see here, I'm sitting in my chair, um, not moving a whole lot. The beacon is pretty close to where I am, but we can see that we're reliably at 124, uh, 123. And as I move in my chair, it's moving up to 130. Um, so that's the stability that you should be able to expect from your beacon uh, vector. So this serial stream is a great interface that you could easily do real quick from uh, your robot to ensure that it's all working the way that it should. So right now the, the beacon's spinning around, we're getting updates, um, and you can see here that our little blinking LED goes on and then off and then on. About once every revolution it changes the state.